All right, let's take a look at it. Is shaking like crazy. This is CompassOfSurfline.com. I'm glad we got this camera because we can actually see what's going on down there, and it's rough. I mean, the winds are coming in strong. You've got the uh, rough surf, and you know there's not much rain at the moment. I think they're get, starting to get a rain band again, but there was a break for a little while. Now here is Florence on satellite, and is just large. I mean, again, the cloud structure is bigger than Virginia, North Carolina put together. It has made landfall officially now. Uh, winds of 90 miles an hour, moving west at 6 miles an hour. But ahead of it, there is already so much waves, so much destruction, and uh, the wind as well. So now there's the center of it. It is going to slowly move down to the south and west along the coast, possibly as a Category 1 hurricane into Saturday. So terrible news for that region. It's really going to cause a lot more devastation down there, all the way to the South Carolina coast. Then it moves inland, weakens, moves north into Monday. It'll move back to the northeast a little bit. Some of the moisture will actually move into our region, but just the moisture uh, and some showers. We're not going to see any uh, bad effects of it or anything like that because it'll weaken. Now, again, there's the center near Wilmington. It made uh, the landfall near Wrightsville Beach, and now it's moving off to the west. You can see lots of rain. Uh, I mean, just flooding rains. They're talking about upwards of 30 inches possibly down in this location, closer to the center. For us, we dodged all that, except we have had some heavy rain at times, and we may see some isolated tornadoes in some of these rain bands across the southern outer banks, up to around the Albemarle Sound. One big rain band right now near Hatteras into uh, Wave Salvo, and that's moving up towards the mainland Dare County and over to Hyde County. Now, we've got some more rain in our region. There's not too much in Elizabeth City right now. We have had some passing showers, but there is more rain getting into Virginia Beach and eastern Chesapeake, St. Brides. You've got it into Pungo, some real downpours, and then also some lighter rain, wind-driven, though, around the ocean front over to Pembroke and almost to uh, the 64-264 uh, interchange. We've got some more scattered showers in northern Suffolk. Isle of Wight now passing west. You know, the peninsula, you've had showers moving towards you. A lot of them have just falling apart. There's one that's holding on right now around Pocosin over towards Seaford. That's moving to the west, but Cape Charles, Gloucester, not much happening right now. A couple showers up there north of Saluda, a couple more around Chincoteague, and that's it. So here's what we can expect for today. Uh, rain, and really this is the rain total for the Outer Banks, 48 inches, possibly some places up to 10. And again, that's if you get under some of those downpours. The gust could be up to 65 miles an hour, again, for the Outer Banks, especially the southern parts. And uh, storm surge four to seven feet. Now we go inland northeast North Carolina from Currituck County on west. Rain four to six inches. I backed off the rain, by the way, for some of these. The winds gusting to 50 miles an hour, and we still have that high storm surge for the western Albemarle Sound. Still haven't changed that. The south side have lowered the rain one to three inches. We've got some gusts up to 40 miles an hour today and moderate tidal flooding. Now the winds are going to increase again probably the late uh, towards the afternoon hours. The peninsula and the middle peninsula. This is you. One to three inches. Gust to 40 miles an hour, some moderate to major tidal flooding around Mob Jack Bay and around Jamestown. You could see so the winds getting pushed up in your region and some flooding, but on the the uh, eastern shore, the side of the Chesapeake Bay, you'll probably get low water as that water pushes away from you. That's Kip to Peak. Eastern shore, rain one to two inches, minor tidal flooding shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so with that said, let's take a look at some of these winds that are happening right now, and meteorologist Dieter Tate will take a look. All right, Jeremy, so here's a look right now. We have winds basically about 10 to 15 across the south side and portions of Hampton Roads, but down towards northeastern North Carolina, still some elevated winds there. Sustained wind right now for Hatteras at about 30 miles per hour. However, the gusts are much higher, up to around 45 miles per hour for Cape Hatteras, and we have wind gusts generally about 25 to 35 miles per hour for areas near the coastline. So as far as the overall picture here, uh, Florence again made landfall officially and it's going to continue to make its way slowly across parts of southern North Carolina into South Carolina as we work our way into our Saturday morning time frame weakening as it does that and the rain field may come up a little bit further north so we're going to keep a pretty good chance for rain in the mix for the kickoff to the weekend. Notice how the forecast model does have it going through the Ohio River Valley as we head towards Sunday into Monday and then a lot of the moisture will be kicked off to the north and east and even with the cold front some of this moisture may swing back across Hampton roads eventually by Tuesday before we dry things out as we head towards the middle of the week into the end of the week. However, as far as today, we're going to have a few showers rolling through by midday as we head towards the afternoon. The rain coverage goes up a bit, especially through early evening. So about a 60% coverage can't rule that out. And again, with some of those bands that come through, you can get a burst of wind and some really heavy rain. As far as the tides, be mindful that we're expecting high tide to be about 130. We're expecting moderate levels. That's going to be higher than what we saw earlier this morning at about 5.5 feet. And as we work our way towards the weekend into early 
Looks like the weekend into early Sunday, we're going to have, for the most part, minor levels. As far as the tides for Kerala, Fort Monroe, and Mobjack Bay, we're looking at major levels for today, moderate to major as we head into our Saturday. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. Again, looking much better after Tuesday.